Well, if you're like most folks, you've got a drawer full of dull knives. I just want to take a minute to show you how easy it is to keep your knives sharp, doesn't take expensive gear, and it's fast. There's a lot of different ways to sharpen knives and a lot of money you can spend on doing it. But we're not talking about samurai swords here, we're talking about our everyday knives, our kitchen knives, our hunting knives, and it's a lot easier to keep them sharp than you might think. First of all, you don't need expensive uh, wet stones, diamond stones, uh, things like that. You don't have to spend a lot of money on a fancy contraption knife sharpener or grinding wheels or nothing like that. I'm going to show you a way to do this. It, it just takes you a few minutes and, and it's really easy to keep the knife sharp afterwards. I basically use three tools and this is all I ever use and it's a, it's a diamond sharpener like this. This one is made uh, by Easy Lap, available on Amazon. I've had this one for like 20 years, and uh, I just got my daughter uh, one here recently, and it's still the same tool. This is great. It's kind of kind of a, a shallow oval in shape, and uh, you can use both sides of it. Both sides are the same. This is what you're going to use to sharpen a knife. Then I use two honing tools. You're probably all familiar with this one. This is a uh, sharpening, they call it sharpening steel. Um, gee, I got this at a garage sale for like two bucks. Main thing is to make sure it's not nicked and this one was nice and smooth. But these are for honing. This, uh, this is, one way to describe honing is that it's like polishing the blade or it's like taking out the fine uh, marks that this, this fine diamond might leave behind. This is another form of honing. This is a ceramic rod. This is also available on Amazon and my daughter just picked up one of these too. I got this one years ago and uh, only paid like two bucks for it. It was new, but uh, then they went up to like $70 and now I think they're down to around 20 or $22. Uh, now the, they've got the supply up. This is a ceramic rod. It's about one inch in diameter. And this once again puts even a finer finish on your blade. So you're going to start with a diamond uh, a steel like this, a fine one. And then I usually do a little, uh, just a little work with this one. And then I always finish off with this one. Once you've sharpened the knife using your diamond, I hardly ever touch this. Very seldom do I get this out. This actually changes the shape of the edge of the blade. But once you get the blade sharp, just every once in a while, all you got to do is just pull out the steel and pull out the ceramic and just touch it up a little bit. You don't have to sharpen very often. One thing you do not want to do is ever use carbide. Let me see if this will get a shot of this. I don't know if it will or not. This is a carbide sharpener. And oh boy, they tout these. They say these are just great for sharpening. Oh yeah, it'll sharpen all right. But what it does is it shaves metal right off the blade. So the more you use this, the, the, the least amount of time your knife will last because these, these just shave the metal off like crazy. They actually leave shavings. So don't use a carbide sharpener. Now the thing about using this diamond here, this diamond uh, sharpener is to get the correct angle on it. And oh man, there's all kinds of things you can do. There's jigs for this and everything else. Not for this, but if you're using a stone or something. But um, basically, let me show you something. This is 90 degrees, right? This is 90 degrees to the sharpener. This is 45 degrees, half a 90. And then this is half of that, that would be about 22 and a half degrees. Well, the proper sharpening bevel is usually between 20 and 25 degrees. So if you get it down to here, just half of 90 and half of 45, then that's the correct angle that you want to use. The more you do this, the more that you'll do this automatically and get the right bevel on here. And if, so if the bevel on your knife edge is a, is a little bit convex, so what? It'll still be a sharp knife. What you want to do then is to draw the knife all the way along the edge like that, holding that same bevel, that same angle. I usually do about five passes on one side, followed by five passes on the other side. 
And then I'll go to four passes on one side, four on the other side, three on one side, three on the other side, two, two, and one, and one. It depends on how dull your knife is. You might have to do that several times. Now, one way to tell, to see, you can actually see the edge on your, on your knife. If you hold the knife up where you can look down on the edge and you hold it right in the light, any dull spots, spots in the edge, you'll actually see the edge. A good sharp knife, when you hold it up like this in good light, um, you can't see the edge. This one's actually pretty sharp. But that's one way to tell. Another way to tell if your knife is sharp when you're done sharpening, well, we'll get to that in a minute. After you've used the diamond, then it's time to hone it. And that's, you've seen this done many times. And it's the same thing. You can hold a little more than the 22 and a half degree or 25 degree. It doesn't matter, you can hold a little more because you're not really removing anything. What you're doing here is just polishing the very edge of the edge. Just a little bit. Doesn't take much to do this. Okay? After that, I like to get out this ceramic because this, this really polishes the edge. And it's the same thing. The, the angle is no longer critical. You can hold more than the 25 degrees or whatever. And you just do this. Maybe a half a dozen times a side. If you got a little problem spot, you can kind of work it like this too, you know? Let me see if I get the right, kind of do like that. Linda is really good at sharpening knives. She gets a razor sharp. And actually working the edge, like I showed you, you can do that on the diamond too. If you've got a real bad spot on your blade, you can kind of work that out like this. Now, to tell if the knife is sharp or not, there's, there's a couple of different ways of doing this. One way is on your fingernail, the blade should catch, like this one catches right there. If it just slides right off, like the back side of this blade just slides right off, then the blade's not sharp. If it's sharp, it'll catch on your fingernail. Of course, the other way is to shave the hair off the back of your hand or something like that. I, I run out of hair, so I don't do that too often anymore. But, you know, you can also tell just by feeling it gently. You can actually feel an area that's not sharp. Be careful, because if you do a good job, you don't want to cut yourself now, do you? And then don't keep your knives in a drawer. Get a, get a nice rack that keeps them from rubbing on each other and getting all dull so your knives stay sharp. That's key there, because most people do keep them in a drawer. Go buy yourself a nice knife rack. So it's the same for all your knives. An ulu, a knife, it doesn't matter. Same thing. If you're interested in these three tools, I'll put links to them down below the video. They're all available on Amazon. So anyways, Hope I helped you out here. If you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you around.